This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-350 crew cab, dual rear wheel. Uh, it is a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's two-wheel drive. Um, it's an XL, which means it's got crank windows, vinyl floor, vinyl seats, air conditioning, automatic. It does have uh, cruise, and it does have tilt, and it does have an AM-FM radio. And uh, 96,800 miles. It's on a clear title. It's a theft recovery purchased uh, from an insurance company in Texas. And we got it here. And we do our two hour inspection. That involves uh, driving, measurements, putting the truck in the air, taking the wheels off, uh, giving it a good looking over and inspection mechanically and cosmetically. So we know what we're selling. And I tell you what we fixed and what we didn't fix and what's right and what's wrong and then you determine what you're going to do with that information whether you're going to make an offer or not and you do it as informed as you could possibly be anyway this is uh what our inspections look like and i can tell you that we did two new batteries we did front and rear brake pads we did an oil and filter we uh, replaced the driver door handle and the uh, lock cylinder. Obviously, that was broken when it was th uh, stolen. We also replaced the ignition, which is also a victim of being stolen. And uh, got new wiper blades. Then it went to detail. All right, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to show you what's happening here. Uh, this is a work truck, so you're going to have all this stuff. Uh, but actually, for a big white work truck, it's in pretty good shape cosmetically I think that the roughest part of it as in most dually work trucks is the tailgate and the bed this little ding here somebody tried to do a little touch up right there the only thing I would do on this thing is the tires are a little bit low in tread uh, not too bad except for the driver rear outside tire that's really low in tread um, but the rest of them are about 20 to 30 or 40 percent tread I would say the usual pitting from rocks and debris and stuff here obviously you're not buying this thing for looks but it still is my job to uh, walk around and make sure that you know what you're buying right otherwise I would not be doing my job a bunch of stuff like this I mean you know you're not buying this thing for the way it looks if you are buying it for the way your looks, you're buying the wrong truck. It's not embarrassing by any means, but it has been used as a work truck. It has a tow package. Uh, all that stuff, good stuff. There. We did notice that at some point somebody is probably backed into something too low and did a little repair around that uh, cargo light. You can see it's kind of dinged up on the tailgate. Nothing awful, but like I said, it's my job to report the news, not to uh, fake the news. This is the tire that's pretty low in tread, this driver outside tire. I would suggest a replacement ASAP. Little scratches there. I mean, you could walk around, touch up paint, clean it up a little bit, but it's a work truck, so why, why bother? Let's see. 96,837 miles. I'm going to open the hood. We're going to be looking for Ford stamps on the uh, fenders and on the corner support. That will indicate that all the parts are original and that it has them in wreck. There's the Ford stamp. New battery. There's the Ford stamp right here. Sticker where it belongs to the cat. Right there is another Ford stamp there, and a Ford stamp there. And this is also a new battery. It's actually in 
pretty good shape for a work truck. Actually, it's in excellent shape for a work truck. Floor is all right. Crank window. See, the old school crank window. The kind that don't cost any money to fix crank window. That. Great boat trailer. Puller, you know? Go to the lake, don't have to worry about dinging it up. Pulling landscaping equipment, pulling tractors, stuff like that. That works fine. When my brother will be taking this thing out and doing probably between 50 and 70 HD pictures, um, when, you, uh, when you go to those pictures, there's a magnifying glass you can click on. Here's a tilt wheel. That works. Um, you click on that and you can zoom in on any picture uh, and see a lot of detail that you might not see unless you do click on it. I encourage you to use that seatbelt on here. All right, let's see what else we need to do here. I need to move the seat up a little bit because I'm short. You got cruise, there's tow haul, on and off. Let's see, radio. Or visit emails.com. Fine. Air conditioning. Turn that on. That works fine. Let's see. Here's your toe. Uh, there is no toes. There's nothing on there, so there's no trailer to check. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, if you come to something to drive at home, first of all, I strongly suggest you get some. Uh, get uh, a tire for that driver outside. Uh, if you wanted to buy a whole set, you'd go to discounttire.com. Uh, find the location on Prince and Oracle. Tell them you're with Wheel Kinetics. They'll give you a little discount off the online price. Plus, if you pay by uh, pay over the phone, by credit card, uh, you won't pay taxes. And I would say a set of 17s, 245 17s for this truck. Through them, uh, on the truck, probably somewhere around $650 for brand new rubber all the way around. Uh, that would probably be a better way to go than anything. Uh, if you do that, let us know that you paid for them. We'll get it over there. It's about a mile and a half away. And we'll have them on there before uh, before you uh, get here. Or you can have them done before it ships out too. It saves a little bit of hassle once it gets there. Unless you get a little pretty good deal. Um, anyway, if you come to Tucson, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Dock fees are 200 Fifty dollars for dock fees and taxes are. Well, this thing runs really good. Uh, taxes are two percent city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if you're one of our Alaska buyers, their state tax rate is zero. So if they came down here, they would pay two percent tax and two hundred fifty dollar dock fee. Our Arizona state tax is six point one. So if you're from Arizona, you're going to pay eight point one. That's the six point one plus the two city and the two hundred fifty dollar dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, no taxes, no dock fees, you deal with your tax man when it gets there. This thing runs really, really well. Wow. Very strong running vehicle. Very nice. Um, let's see. Deposit. Please get your deposit. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. We'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it's for sale. The last thing I say, I say this on every single video for every single car. Uh, and I would love for you to verify that. Just click on any of the vehicles that you that we're selling, and you'll see at the end I say this. It's out of warranty. If they could give it a 10-year, 200,000-mile warranty, they would have sold this truck for $92,000.
and sold a zillion of them. The reason they don't do that is because they don't know what's going to happen and they built the truck. So basically they're saying, we don't know what's going to happen, so we're not going to tell you that we know what's going to happen after X amount of miles or X amount of years, right? Uh, if they don't know what's going to happen to the truck they built, there's no way we can know. So if you're risk averse, do not buy a used toaster or a used lazy boy recliner or a used anything, because that's dangerous. Um, there is some risk involved. Uh, that being said, this truck runs like crazy, and I would say that the risk is fairly minimal, but you never know. You could get it next week and it could need an injector, or it could need an air conditioning compressor, or it could need nothing for the next five years. Okay, so please uh, make offers with your eyes wide open. This is not new. It's out of warranty. The people who built it know a hell of a lot more than we know. Okay? Uh, just trying to keep it real. That being said, I mean, it's a nice truck. So if you need something that's not exactly cosmetically perfect, but uh, runs great and can pull your stuff, this would be the one. Thank you.